you know, I think there was, uh, you know, if I think a lot of times, the, um, I, I think you've seen sort of the transition from him not really knowing too much about football right when he got in initially uh, and, and sort of the sporting franchises and how it works. And then you saw him, uh, as he's always done, he's taken everything that he's put his hands on and has turned it into a, a very, very profitable situation uh, and, and a very uh, uh, enormously successful, you know, uh, proposition. And that's exactly what he did with the Saints. So you can see those handprints and those fingerprints are all over that. Um, he took it over at a great time, you know, and took it to a next level. Um, and did a lot of great things for the city, you know, and I think that uh, as far as asking for an owner and the things he's done and uh, and I think the things that he has shown, the, how much he wanted to keep this team in the city, because there was a time literally when I was getting ready to go over to Jacksonville, Florida and start looking at houses, you know, it was very, very real that we were not going to be here. So um, the fact that he said, no, that's not going to happen. I'm going to make sure that this stays here and, and that, you know, we're going to keep this this franchise here where it belongs, it belongs to this city and it belongs to these people and it belongs to these fans. And I think that any time you have that, um, you can't help but love an owner like that. Well, I, I don't know if there's a, too, too much that, that uh, you know, that, that people don't already know about it, but I know that when he first came out, like I said, he, he wasn't really used to seeing it. And I remember he talked to Bum Phillips at the time when he first acquired the team and he mentioned the fact that he didn't understand why did we not have enough money to buy white shirts or black shirts or, or the same color shirts for everybody on the team? And I think Bum had explained to him that those guys are on defense and these guys are on offense, and that's how we distinguish those two. But uh, it didn't take him long to figure it out after that. So, um, But that was just some of the funny things he said. But I remember him all the time coming in and having talks with the team and, uh, and some of the kind of old school New Orleans uh, southern gentleman type stuff would kind of come out that we all thought was kind of funny, and we would kind of – kind of quip and tease about it from time to time, but we knew that his heart was in the right place.